Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Nahama. Make sure to hit the subscribe button below to join the fam. Let's jump straight into today's video. As you saw from the title, this video is gonna be more of a chatty video, not so much a step-by-step -step or giving a list of tips. I'm just gonna share how I feel about the topic of body image and pregnancy and how pregnancy has shifted and changed my body image mindset, mostly for the better, maybe a little bit for the worse in certain ways, but overall a more positive body image mindset. I didn't really have any idea of what to expect during my pregnancy. I didn't come into this pregnancy with any kind of notions or ideas of how I thought I was gonna feel with my body changing. I honestly just didn't give much thought to it. I did have the thought of I hope that I am able to recover after the birth and get back to myself, get back to myself, whatever that means. Um, I'm sure my feelings on that will develop as I experience that. But for now I want to talk about pregnancy itself and how going through this experience has impacted the way I view my body and the way I view the subject of body image in general. Right now I am almost 30 weeks pregnant which is pretty much seven and a half months and so I feel like I had a nice amount of time to really develop my thoughts and feelings on this topic and I actually have been writing down in my phone in a note just you know different things that I felt as they came up under pregnancy and body image just so that I wouldn't forget different things that were coming up for me. So I'm going to start sharing them. They're in no particular order and not necessarily organized, but I'm going to start with what I wrote down first, which was basically that it's scary that my body is changing. I'm not used to seeing myself looking a certain way, but I'm also really at ease knowing that it's okay, whatever happens. And of course that this is for a good thing. I also wrote that it's really a relief to not have to worry about some of those normal expectations that sometimes we have of ourselves or society has of us, for example, holding in your stomach or wanting to have a flat stomach, which some people naturally have, and that's great, but I definitely didn't. This is actually not something that I ever really shared on my social medias, but I'm just gonna mention briefly that I do struggle with bloating issues and some stomach issues that have affected, you know, my life and my health, of course, but definitely affected my body image as well because I experienced a lot of bloating on a regular basis. There were many days before getting pregnant that I looked pregnant if I didn't hold in my stomach because I had a pretty extreme bloated stomach and it was a source of a lot of insecurity for me. Definitely over the years I've embraced my body more and of course being in a good fitness routine and eating healthy and doing well in life really affects things like that but as healthy and as well as I was doing in all areas I always had an issue with bloating and it was something I was constantly aware of and self-conscious of. So something that I found in pregnancy was the relief of not having to worry about holding in my stomach because I know that it's okay to have a stomach. Meanwhile, it's always okay to be how you are, but there's some pressure that's lifted knowing my body is growing, my stomach is expanding, and I don't have to worry about the way I sit or the way that I'm gonna look from this angle or that angle because I'm pregnant so I can be however I be and that's perfectly fine. It was really liberating for me to feel that and to hopefully ingrain that in my mind that it's always okay to be how you are and hopefully that will carry me through postpartum and in my future as well. I wrote down about when you're first starting to show and it's awkward. There's honestly no other way around it. There's no two ways about it. It's kind of awkward. It's basically when you're at the point where your skirts or your jeans, whatever you wear, are not closing and your clothes are not fitting properly, but you also know that people don't know and you know that people don't realize because it's slight things that only you notice. And pretty much you look bloated all the time, which for me was kind of normal. It's just I didn't have the option of holding in my stomach because there was a baby there. 
At times, I felt myself wishing that people would just know that I was pregnant so that they wouldn't judge me for gaining weight or for looking a certain way, which was for me the start of this body acceptance journey that I feel like I've taken throughout this pregnancy. I knew that I wasn't telling people up until the point that I was going to decide to tell people, so I knew that something had to change. Either I was going to walk around and continue to feel self-conscious and awkward about how I looked or what people were thinking, or this was going to be a chance for me to learn to accept my body, let people think what they want, let people assume what they want, whether they were guessing that I was pregnant or they were just thinking, okay, she gained weight, or maybe they weren't thinking about it at all. But the idea of thinking about what other people are thinking, that should not have any bearing on the way I feel. And so for me, that was the start of really trying to work on that acceptance so I could feel free to just be myself and to let things play out the way they do and let myself go through the stages of pregnancy, which in the beginning, you're not really showing or you're kind of showing, you're not really showing, that's just how it is. I think starting from that point and that ability to start accepting that it's okay no matter how I look, no matter what people think, I was learning to be able to be more free and just okay with myself no matter what. Again, I really hope that that skill is something that I'm going to be able to take with me into the future because it's a unique experience where you're not outwardly giving anyone any information about your appearance and for you to just fully embrace the way you are and where you are in your life. And that really applies to everything, not just pregnancy. It really took being thrown into that uncomfortable position of, okay, this is kind of awkward. Things are looking tight on me. I don't really know what to wear. I kind of look bloated. It looks like I gained weight. To learning how to just, here we are. This is where we're at. I need to accept it. As I got bigger, as I went along in my pregnancy, it definitely got easier because it got more obvious. And so I, once I knew that people knew, of course that lessens the awkwardness, even before I actually told people. But again, that brought on that relieving feeling of, I don't have to worry about how I look because I'm allowed to look however I look. No more angles, positions, sucking in, being self-conscious, just being. Another mindset shift in terms of pregnancy and body image that I feel like I really gained a lot from was the appreciation for my body and what it can do and what it is for me in my life. We go through so much of our lives scrutinizing our appearance and almost minimizing our body to what it looks like and not what its functionality is and not what it's actually allowing us to do. Our bodies are so complex and amazing and wondrous and it's honestly the home for who we are. It's the home for our heart and soul, and it's the way that we're able to express ourselves physically in the world. Without our bodies, we wouldn't have that vessel to do so. And so being grateful for our body housing us is really a shift in mindset to criticizing or even just analyzing our bodies in terms of appearance as opposed to everything else that it's doing for us. And that's just for each individual alone, but realizing that in my body, I'm expanding and I'm creating life, that's a whole new level. Like my body is sustaining me and another human being while it grows from a tiny, tiny size into a human. A human that's gonna grow up and walk around and have thoughts and feelings and live life as a person, it's, it's mind boggling. Throughout the pregnancy and learning about the different stages every week, what the fetus is developing and how it's growing, it was beyond fascinating and it's such a miracle. And that made me realize it's a miracle that it was doing all this for me, just alone. And now it's doing it for me and creating a new life. And that changed my perspective from, again, thinking of more appearance-based and instead, feeling such immense gratitude to this physical vessel that is housing and taking care of me and my future child. The one thing that I wrote down and I wrote a hard thing <laughs> is that it is weird to see myself looking so large or looking, I guess, way larger than I usually do. Just in terms of physical dimension, like in terms of size, 
Obviously when I walk around or when I realize, oh my, my stomach is bumping into something, it's kind of a realization that I'm not just me or I'm not how I used to be. And there's another part of me that also thinks, was I always this way? Was I always this size? I can't even remember not having this belly right here. <laughs> like sometimes I see pictures from a few months ago and I'm thinking it's strange. I'm like, that was me. I didn't have a belly. I didn't have a stomach. This is odd. And it's weird that I romanticized the way I looked before. It's like, even if that day I thought I looked bad, when I'm looking at these old pictures, I'm like, wow, I don't know why I was so concerned about my bloating. I don't know why I was so nitpicky about my appearance. I look really good. Like now I have a big belly, but then I looked really good. <laughs> so there's definitely a part of me that just feels a little bit alien in my body. It feels like I want my old self back. And it's just a strange feeling to look at pictures and to feel removed from them and to feel like it's foreign to see myself not in this state and at the same time now look in the mirror and think it's so weird that this is actually me. So I would say in terms of body image, the part that's a little bit tough for me is again looking in the mirror and seeing myself this way and wondering if I'll ever be how I used to be. And I know it's not important, but it's just something that I feel I look in the mirror and it just worries me that maybe this is gonna be how I am forever, which is also irrational because obviously I will give birth, God willing, and I will definitely lose some of this belly. It's just a little bit tough for me to look in the mirror and see myself looking the way I do when I am focused on appearance and thinking about the future and getting back to myself. Again, whatever that means. Overall, I think pregnancy has shifted and changed my mindset in terms of body image for the better, 100%. Through this experience, I've come to appreciate my pre-pregnancy body more. I've learned to accept my body, how it looks throughout this phase of my life which again, I really hope is something that's gonna stay with me, at least to some degree. Of course, it's gonna be a constant work. And I really feel a new appreciation for my body and what it is for me and for my child and my life in general. My body is my home, it's my life-giving source, and it's a part of me that should be cherished and never criticized. Let me know in the comments below if you have had similar thoughts going through pregnancy or if you relate to these body image mindsets in general. I hope that this video was insightful and valuable for you. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with a friend who you think can benefit from it. And again, make sure to subscribe below so you don't miss any future videos. As always, video suggestions are welcome. So if you'd like me to film a video on a specific topic, feel free to let me know what you're looking for. I would love to create videos that you appreciate. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. I really appreciate the space to share my thoughts and feelings and hope that it resonates with you guys. I love this community that we're building together. So thank you for being here and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.